Leos, what's going on, my loves? Thank you to everyone that's liked, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, thank you so much. This energy can be masculine or feminine, so just place the energy on whatever side you need to, okay? Let's see who's tugging on your energy, Leos. Oh, okay, okay. Right, so this is a person that feels like you are everything that they see that they want. So you're the person uh, that I've been waiting for my whole entire life, right? When I think about you, you're the complete package, Leo, right? You cook, you clean, you you know, you got a good job or you're, or you're able to work or generate income, right? You're good mother or father material, Right? I could take you home. You're very well uh, rounded. You're very respectable as well. This is what's coming through. Right? Because you're such a good person, I can't dare tell you that I ain't tell you all the kids I got. Like, I got some kids that's hidden in the cut. Okay? Like, I can't tell you how old they are either because then you gonna know, right, that I was out here cheating and doing shit behind your back and making children while I was still rocking with you. Okay? Yeah. Right? I just want you to know that no matter what, no matter where I'm at, you are still my best friend. Okay? And at the end of the day, we don't have to be nothing more than that. As long as I still have your friendship, we good. And this could be a person that's telling you this, Leo. We could be friends. Right? This is a person that you were getting it in with, absolutely. Um, and even if you wasn't getting it in with this person in the 3D, you were damn sure getting it in in the 5D, okay? Yep, can we still be friends? Thank you, Spirit. Can we still be friends? Mm -hmm. That's what just came out. You are my friend, nothing more. Can we still be friends? Thank you, right? I think about you in the morning when I wake up, though. You're the first person I think about. Right. I, I really do care about your well-being. I do uh, absolutely want to be your friend. I want to remain your friend. I want to remain in your life. This is the energy that's coming through. Do you know who this is, Leo? Right. I want you to be a part of my future. OK, so someone here is trying to uh, will you back into their life so that you can be their friend. And I really do feel, like whoever this is, Leo, this is not somebody that you wanted to be friends with. This is someone that you saw yourself being with, okay? So being friends with this person, you know, this, this may be something that you want to do, okay? But I feel like it's going to hurt you down the long haul because this is not all that you wanted from this person, okay? So just be mindful. Use your discernment of this energy, okay? This person is toxic, okay? Um, this is a person that take, takes advantage of people. They walk over people. They're, they um, they like to be controlling. They're possessive as well. This person may have jealous tendencies, okay? This is a person that's letting someone walk all over them right now, and they're in denial about it. Because if you ask them about it, they're going to freaking lie, okay? Now, this person may have a birthday coming up soon um, or some sort of event or some sort of uh, celebration. Um, yeah, that's coming up, right? Right, there's a lot of gossip going on about this person too. Like people, this may be someone that's out in the public eye in some way and people like to talk, you know. I feel like there's gossip, there's um, confessions or people saying, oh yeah, I know about blah, 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 blah. Did you know this? Or did you know that? You know, it's a lot of this going on here. And this is someone that you have a soul tie to. Okay. I don't feel like, uh, this is also a marriage card, but I feel like this is someone that you wanted marriage with, or you felt yourself being able to, you know, run off and elope with, or, or have a commitment with, but I feel like this person is absolutely um, either uh, a soulmate or car or not karmic. I didn't mean to say karmic, a soulmate or uh, some sort of soul tie to you. Okay, this is what's coming through.
Yeah, they may be having a birthday soon. All right? This person is, uh, they feel like because they did you the way that they did you, that their luck hasn't been the way that they needed to be. And they feel like in order to get back on the right side of the wheel of fortune, they need to do right by you or they need to have you in their life or or um, be friendly with you. OK, this is what I'm feeling. They're thinking about it. Like, how can I make my 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 world better? I know I did this. Right? Someone could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo or a Taurus. OK, karma, good or bad. Cycles ending or starting, destiny, good, luck, stuff of that nature. This is what they're after. And they feel like they can have the good luck, right? And get away from the luck that they've been experiencing if they if they do right by you, right? This is the luck that they're having. Five of Pentacles. All right. This is them dealing possibly with a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their chart, right? Money problems, lack of money, you know, lack of um, having the accommodations that they're used to. I feel like this person may have a driver. They could have had a driver at some point in time. I feel like they had certain things, like not that they were wealthy, but they, they possibly looked like they had money, okay? And if they were wealthy, it's because, you know, they did well financially, but they may have had the perks of being wealthy. So these are the things that they don't have anymore. So they could be downsizing. OK, this is a tower moment for this person coming through because, yeah, this is an unexpected change. They didn't know that they're going to have to downsize. They didn't know that they're going to have to change their life. Um, and this is forcing them to think about the things that they've done wrong. OK, so like when when the universe comes in and steps in, basically um, it's, it's saying, you know what? I told you 15 times to do this. And since you haven't done it, I'm going to shake some, some shit up and I'm going to make this happen to where you have to do something. Right. So this person is now being forced, uh, to move a different way. Okay. We got Knight of wands energy, right? So this person could be a fire sign or Scorpio, or they could have this in their chart. This person mainly moves very passionately about things that they want, uh, to deal with or, you know, or be in tune with this person um, enjoys being free sexually to see or do whatever they want to do. They don't like answering to anyone. Their energy is really in and out. They like flirting with people. You know, five of cups energy is here. This is a person that lives um, a single life. Okay. Scorpio energy again. This person may have caused you a lot of grief, a lot of loss, a lot of despair, a lot of depression, a lot of tears. They could have broke your heart, this person, because I see that you wanted something with them and they possibly went off and had a child, may have walked away from you, had a child with someone. If they didn't already have a child, they may have been dealing with their uh, child's mother or child's father um, and just said to you, you know what, we could just be friends. And then I'm, I'm feeling like, this devastated someone because when it, when your thoughts were here, your thoughts was on you and this person becoming so much more than just friends, you know? So that's like a smack in the face for you, for someone to say, you know, let's just be friends. You feel like they abandoned you or you feel like, you know, they gave you that okie doke to make you feel some sort of way so that they can get what they want and then they change the narrative, Right. Don't treat me like that to get what you feel like you need and then act like I'm doing something wrong by feeling like we were on a different path um, than what we um, are on now, right? Don't don't play me out and act like I was not seeing everything for what it was and that I was making up some shit, right? Because you were acting like this and you was talking like that. And yeah, I had no choice to, but to feel like things were going to be a certain way with us. But then you, you know, you did this like, yeah, this is the energy that's coming through uh, for you, Leo. OK, so listen, I send you guys love and light. You guys take care.